people don't realize that what they're reading in their holy books, the Bible and the Quran and and the and the Torah and, and the, the Book of the Law and all of that, they don't realize that these are stories that have been around for thousands of years in other cultures. They just were told in a different way. Uh, you know, in a classic example, uh, when you read in the Bible about Moses, and Moses, uh, when he was leading the people in the desert, uh, he didn't know where he was going, and so he was out there for 40 years. Well, that's very a suspect anyway, because 40 shows up in the Bible, Old Testament, all the time. 40 this, 40 that. And so Moses is out in the wilderness for 40 years, and the Israelites are following him because he don't know where he's going. He's in the wilderness. And so, uh, but there's no way for him to uh, order food for everybody. And But you better find some food for everybody because you got, you know, you got a lot of people out there, uh, thousands if not millions of people following you and they're in the desert and they're in the in the in the lost desert too with you and you're the one that brought them out there because you told them god was going to take care of them well where is he and we're hungry right and so then we see that in the bible that moses talks to god and god and tells him god you know you have to do something for me here and it's, it's something important can you do something to help feed my people here because we don't have nothing we're out in the middle of a desert and we don't even know where we are can you do something to feed us because if not we're going to die and so we may be god's chosen people but we're not going to be here much longer because we're not eating and then it says, God says to Moses, oh, okay, I'll feed you. I'll, uh, you know, tell everybody to settle down, and I will feed you. What I'll do is I will give you something that is called the manna from heaven. And so the manna from heaven began to, the scripture says, the people would wake up in the morning, and they would have something called the manna from heaven. And they would go out and gather up this manna from heaven and eat it. And at least they had at least they had breakfast and they had lunch and dinner based on this manna from heaven. Well, the very word manna, you know, we've heard this story about the manna from heaven, and the, and the Jews are out on in the Hebrews or whoever they are, the Hebrews or the Jewish, they are out there in Israel. They're out there picking up the manna from heaven. Well, the first of all, the word manna simply means in the old ancient Phoenician language, which we call Hebrew, it's actually a Phoenician language, and mana in the old Phoenician language simply means what is it? They don't even know what it is. They're just out there eating something, and it's good. They're eating it, but uh, but they don't know what it is. They have no idea how it got there, but thank God at least it's something to eat. And so they call that mana, which means what is it? And so then you find out, you go back into the, uh, the, 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 uh, the history and go back to the Jewish Encyclopedia, Encyclopedia Judica, and the Jewish reference works on the Jewish religion. And then you look at the, uh, the, what they call archaeolinguistics, which is the study of the ancient languages of the world and how they're all connected behind the scenes. Mm. And when you hit archaeolinguistics and, and you ask, what does archaeolinguistics, the study of ancient languages, tell you about the word mana? Uh, because obviously in the Bible, the Hebrews didn't know what it was. That's why they called it mana. And then you find out in the, his- in the reference books on the word, mana from heaven was mushrooms. They were eating mushrooms, the magic mushrooms. Well, no wonder they were talking to God. Now, hell, if you're out there eating the magic mushrooms, <laughs> you're going to be talking to God. You're going to have all kinds of wonderful experiences uh, communicating with your God on mushrooms. And so, mana from heaven uh, is described in the Bible. Go to the Bible and read in Genesis uh, about, no, read in the, in the, New, the Old Testament uh, about manna from heaven. Look, to, look it up in the Bible where the scriptures are talking about the manna from heaven, and it will tell you in the reference works, manna from heaven were mushrooms, and they were called the magic mushrooms. And, 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 and magic mushrooms have been around the Middle East by God for thousands of years. But it actually says they were small, round things that grew in the morning dew. So when you get up in the morning, there will be these fluffy, round, 
uh, things that you could pick and eat, and they were called mushrooms. And so now there are, uh, today, there are quite a few articles being written in Israel by uh, Israeli professors and, and, and people who study the Israeli history of words, etc., in the Hebrew. And there are many articles being written now. You go on the web and, and just look up um, uh, Israel and mushrooms and see all the different articles written by professors and teachers and writers and researchers in Israel uh, saying that, yeah, the people supposedly at that time that uh, that uh, that uh, Moses would have been alive, uh, they were on mushrooms, and that's why you know they were seeing and able to talk to God directly. Well, yeah, if you take enough mushrooms, you're going to talk to God, mm. and so. But it's not mushrooms just for you know like you would get with a hamburger. No, no, these were magic mushrooms. Uh, and uh, uh, what is it? Um, Amanita mascara is probably one of the most famous mushrooms in the world. Is Amanita mascara, and it's uh, that's a one incredible trip, boy. You take a little bit of of the of the mushroom of the Amanita mascara, and watch what happens to your brain. Watch what happens to your mind when your mind starts reacting to the chemicals in that. And that mushroom, you're going to see things you are not going to believe. 